Hello everyone. Now we are moving towards the new topic that is uh, cellular telephone and satellite networks. We already discussed the wireless LANs in previously. The actual wireless technology is also used in cellular telephony and satellite network. Cellular telephone. Cellular telephony. Cellular telephony is uh, designed to provide communication between two moving units. That is the called mobile station. That is the MSS. Or between one mobile unit and one stationary unit. That is the called as land unit. The service provided must be able to locate and track a caller, assign a channel to the call and transfer the channel from base station to the caller moves out of range. To make this tracking possible, each cellular service area is divided into small regions that is the called as cells. Each cell contains an antenna and it is controlled by solar or AC power network station and that is the called as base station. Each base station is controlled by a switching office that is the called as mobile switching center MSC. The MSC coordinates communication between all the base station and telephone central office. It is computerized center that is responsible for connecting calls recording call information and billing as well as cell size is not fixed can be increased or decreased depending on the population of the area the typical radius of cell is 1 to 12 mi and as well as high density area required <coughs> here is the frequency to use principle in cellular telephony frequency use principle transmitting, receiving, handoffs, some roamings, some and generations that is the first, second, and third generations. Frequency reuse principle. In general, neighboring cells cannot use the same set of frequencies or communication because it may create interference for the users and it is located near the cell boundaries. However, the set of frequencies available is limited and frequencies need to be reused. The frequency reuse pattern is reconfiguration of N cells n being the reuse factor in which each cell use a unique set of frequency and the pattern is repeated. Here basic cellular system, base station, the master station that is the cell, there is the MSC, it is a mobile system center and that is the PSTN public switch telephone. The stationary phone will be given the data to the PSTN to the MSC will be given to the base station and then will be takes the sale. The frequency reuse pattern is configuration n cells, n being the reuse factor in which, in which each cell uses unique set of frequencies. When the pattern is repeated, the frequencies can be reused. There are several different patterns. The numbers in the cells define the pattern. The cells with the same number in pattern can use the same set of frequencies. We call these cells the reusing cells. In figure shows the pattern with reuse factor 4 only one cell separates or 
only one cell separates the cell using the same set of frequencies. In the pattern with reuse factor 7, here is the reused factor, two cells separate with reusing cells. Already we see AMPS, it is an analog cellular phone system. It will be used in FDMA, frequency division multiple axis. <coughs> the cellular base for AMPS. Before moving towards the frequency reuse principle we see now we see the what is the function of transmitting the transmitting function means to place a call from mobile station the caller enters code 7 or 10 digits that is the we are calling phone number and presses the send button the mobile station they scans the band and set up channel with uh, strong signal with a strong signal and sends the data phone number that is uh, given to the closest base station using the channel and the base station relays the data to the MSC and that MSC sends the data on the telephone central office if the called party is available for a connection that result is relayed back to the again MSC at this point the MSC assigns as an unused voice channel to the call and connection is established. This is the all about the transmitting. Now we see the receiving. When a mobile phone is called, the telephone central office sends the number to the MSC, mobile station center. The MSC searches for the location of the mobile station by sending query signals to the each cell in a process called that is the paging. Once the mobile station is found, the MSC transmits a ringing signal and when the mobile station answers, assigns a voice channel to the call, allowing voice communications to be begin. The next one that is the handoff. Handoff means during the conversation, Mobile station moves from one cell to the another. It does the signal may become weak to solve the problem. The mobile switching center monitors the level of the signal every few seconds. If the uh, strength of the signal weak, then new cell can better accommodate the communication. In the changes in the channel carrying the call. In the handoff, there is a hard handoff and soft handoff. Already we seen in previous in one month ago we are already taken the one lecture related to the only for handoff. What is the handoff? Handoff in hard handoff mobile station only communicate with one base station and MS moves from one cell to another communication must but be broken with previous base station before communication can be established with new one. Now what is the soft handoff? That is the new system use soft handoff. In this case mobile station can communicate with two base stations at the same time. This means the during handoff the mobile station may continue with the new base station before breaking off from the old one. The next one roaming. This is the feature of cellular telephony is called as uh, roaming. Roaming means in principle a user can access communication or can be reached where there is coverage. A service provider usually has a limited coverage. The neighboring services providers can provide extended coverage through roaming content. <coughs> now the generations, there is the first generation, second generation, third generations. And 
by the generations the first one amps after gps d amps that is the digital and analog amps then with the user in the in generations gaps cellular bands for amps here each band is 25 megahertz made of 830 to 30 kilohertz analog channels it is the reverse communication mobile to base this is our cell this is the framing structure by the different frequencies and this is the base station band And it will be from the cell mobile station band to the base station band. This is the base station function, and it requires it will be takes the acknowledgement through mobile switching center that is by AMPS. AMPS reverse communication band that is the in reverse communication band. For voice purpose, 3 kilohertz means using FM, the modulation that is analog signal that is the 30 kilohertz frequency division multiplex, multiple axis. When you give 3 kilohertz, that is the analog signal. When you give 10 in kbps control, then same for the 30 kilohertz FSK. Basic taking and 10 can be based for the analog, and that is the we gets the communication band almost 25 megahertz band. This is the second generation cellular cellular phone system to provide higher quality, less noise. In mobile voice combination, the second generation of the cellular phone network was developed. Well, the first generation was designed for analog voice communication. And the second generation was mainly designed for digital voice, digitized voice. And three major systems involved in the second generation. That is the S136D AMPS, GSM, CDMA. In uh, D AMPS, the product of the evaluation of the analog AMPS into digital system is a digital AMPS, that is the D AMPS. And D AMPS was designed to be backward compatible with AMPS. This means uh, one telephone can use AMPS and other D AMPS was first defined in IS 54 that is the IS means interim standard and later revised that is the interim standard that is the IS 136 the DMPS is the same bands and channels as an AMPS after transmissions each voice channel is digitized using very complex that is the PCM and compression technique the white channel is digitized to 7.95 kbps. Three 7.95 kbps digital white channels are combined using TDMA. That is the result is 48.6 kbps. <coughs> the second one is the GSM that will be related to time division, multiple axis, and frequency division. And, um, Next type that is IS95 interim standard 95. That is the code division multiple axis that is related to CDM and FDM. The GSM global system for mobile communication is European standard that was developed to provide 
common second generation technology for all Europe. And the aim was to replace number of incompatible first generation technology. In GSM band, uses two bands for duplex communication. Each band is 25 megahertz in width, shifted toward 900 megahertz. And the band is divided into the 124 channels. GSM system each voice channel is digitized and compressed to 13 kbps. Each slot carries 156.25 bits and having 8 slots. This is the digital AMPS. This is the bits we are framing in the PMS. The three clouds voice will be given to the time division, but it will be divided by the using of time. That digitization signals that will be 48.6 kbps to be given to the QPSK. And this is the signals will be generated from output signal from QPSK that is the 30 kilohertz and again it will be divided in frequency slots almost it is the framing 832 channels in 832 channels 790 is the traffic channels and remaining 42 is the control channels in a digital AMPS or interim standard 136 is a digital cellular phone system using in TDMA, a time division multiplexer, as well as in FDMA. In GSM band, <coughs> before moving to our GSM bands, we will see the revised structure, what will be the taken in Previously, we see here in cellular telephone and satellite networks. In cellular telephony, some types will be given that is the frequency use principle, transmitting as well as receiving handoffs. In the handoff, there are two types that is the soft handoff and hard handoff. Roaming, another one that is the generations. AMPS in the user in first generation after that is GSM that is the TDMA FDMA after that in third generation it will be used in generation there are different interim standards this is the basic cellular system the stationary phone given to the signal to the PSTM that is the public switch telephone network then it will be interlinked with mobile switching center MSC and then it will be connected with base station and then the information will be given to the cell for that purpose we require the cells in every cells we require a separate antenna that is the reuse of factor up to the 1 2 3 4 that is the shown in figure and cells will be after increasing up to the 7 that will be shown here. That will be given very important note. MPS is an analog cell phone. It will be using in frequency division model. This is the different bands. It will be divided in different framings with the different frequency from the one cell to the another base station. Each band is 25 megahertz made of 832. So this is the analog channels. And MPS reverse communication band, it is the 25 megahertz band by taken from the voice signal by the FM frequency modulation of the analog signal that is the 30 kilohertz. Then types of uh, second generation cellular phone system that is the DMPS that is the related to DMA frame, GSM for the TDMA frame. Here we will be using interim standard 136. 
Mm, I mean, that's one CDMA, there is CDMA in entry and standards of 99. Then we see the details of DMPS by using of QPSK with time slots with frequency slots. It is the given DMPS as well as entry and standard 136 is digital cellular phone system using TDMA and FDM. Now we move towards the GSM bands. We will stop here. After the next lecture, we will see the details of GSM bands and other part. Thank you.